Hey, what up, guys? Johnny here, back with a brand new COD Mobile video. COD Mobile is trolling me right now. It says update now, but when I click the update, it's not available. But anyways, we're gonna talk about the new update because it's coming this week. Now, the update is scheduled for Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific. I don't know if we're gonna have it earlier because COD Mobile Vietnam got it earlier today. So, I don't know, but it should be Wednesday. Anyways, today we'll talk about what could possibly be the single best addition to the new update. People are so busy talking about new skins, new characters, new season pass, new events and all that. People seem to be forgetting something that I've seen posted over nine hours ago and nobody's talking about it today. So let's check it out. We got some good news and some bad news today and we're gonna look into today's news. So let's get started guys and we're gonna go straight to the Reddit. So shout out Timothy Plunk posting this and like I said, it's nine hours ago. Nobody talk about this. That could be the most wanted feature ever and it's not something I see requested often. But look at that little button on the top left. You notice that watching Murder Blast latest video this morning. Looks like a yellow icon, the notification icon with a bar on it like no notifications or delete or erase all notifications. Guys, this is my biggest nightmare right now. Cannot remove all my notifications. And it doesn't matter what I do, I seem to try to click everything. I always have remaining notifications. It's driving me crazy, guys. Now, these ones usually I get rid of, but the loadout notifications, it seems there's always something remaining. I keep clicking, I try to click on stuff. And the weapons, the camos, I don't know if it's a bug, guys. But the first couple of seasons, I remember there was a bug in the game and you could not get rid of all your notifications. And then after the fix, I would click everything every time I got crates and get rid of all my notifications. I know some of you guys don't care, but some guys like me, it's really, really annoying to have these freaking notification buttons. And if we finally have a button to remove and delete everything, we're gonna sleep much better, guys. Now, that being said, I'm super happy if it happens. If it happens later, well, so be it. There's nothing we can do about it, but wait. But I will be very happy if it happens. Now, let's go into the bad news. For some of you guys, it's not a bad news, but some of you will be disappointed. Uh, it was posted by Hawksness earlier this morning. First of all, they got their update, like I said, on COD Mobile Vietnam, right? Now, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, I was in shock when I saw the news. COD Mobile Vietnam or Garena on their update, the final collectible camo, we call it completionist. After you got all platinum weapons, they finally revealed the last camel. And again, surprisingly, it looks like they have Damascus in Garena. Now, once again, guys, if you don't remember, it was confirmed multiple times on official COD Mobile accounts that the last final camel was not going to be Damascus. Now, once again, from the Twitter, but that's just one example. There were multiple posts, even on Reddit. They were saying it was not going to be Damascus. They said they had something else in mind for the final tier, top tier camo. And I remember on Reddit, uh, they said they had a meeting. They were supposed to do Damascus at the start. It was in the beta before the gunsmith update. When they were testing the gunsmith, the final camo was Damascus. And then they decided they changed their mind and they wanted to bring something else instead. Now, big surprise, they added Damascus today on Garena. What is the deal, guys? Now, I know some guys were happy. Some guys were disappointed when they learned that there was not going to be a Damascus camel. Some guys were happy because they don't like Damascus that much. Now, apparently, it is not animated. It does not have a dead effect. So, not much to it. Let me know in the comments. Like, personally, I don't care that or something else. Uh, remember, Garena and Global is not always the same, by the way. They don't always have the exact same things. Remember, they already have diamond camos on Garena. They had diamond camos in their game that we don't have in Global. So there's still a possibility. It's not 100% confirmed that we also gonna get the Damascus, but it looks like it's gonna be it, guys. Now let me know in the comments, guys. Are you happy or are you disappointed about the final top tier camo for completionist? I know a lot of you guys anyways will not go for it, so they don't care. But if you were gonna go for it, would you have liked something else instead? And once again, we're going to have to wait a few days to see what's going to happen for real. Now, last thing I want to talk about is the rank reset rewards. They were announced today on the official Twitter. And you see that Ted is going to be the Battle Royale uh, skin. Like, you know, every season on rank rewards, 
if you reach Master 2 in Battle Royale, you get a Soldier Skin for free. The Soldier Skins from Battle Royale are always amazing. So Ted was in a crate before. It's going to be a new skin though. And also the skin. We're going to have some weapon skins, S36. And you see a baseball bat in there, guys. It's going to be the first free-to-play baseball bat, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But usually the baseball bats were all paid. There was the first one. The clown baseball bat was a uh, buyback, cashback reward. And then there were some other bats added later in uh, crates. And you see the emote also. Looks like a different variation of the emote that we had with the Gunzo Lucky Dua. He's doing that, but he's doing that after. So that one is just going to do that. Uh, you also see um, the other weapon skins. Season 7 rank rewards going to happen soon. And you know we're going to have vehicle skins and all that. So yeah, I like that skin by the way. And it's going to be the same skin for all the vehicles. And some weapons and a baseball bat. And even the, the tie that Ted is wearing you see at the end. So I think it's called Royal Flush or something like that, the camel. But anyways, a lot of stuff coming soon, guys. Once again, not all 100% confirmed because it's from, like, a lot of stuff is from the Garena version. But the rank rewards are confirmed. It's on the official global COD Mobile account uh, on Twitter. And then, of course, the Damascus is the biggest shock of the day. Is it going to happen for real or is it something different we should expect? Big question. And last thing, of course, cannot wait to get rid of my notifications. If we're going to have this this season, I'm super excited, guys. Finally, I can sleep. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for daily COD Mobile videos. We are going to reach 100,000 subs this week on the channel. It's going to be epic. And you guys are a part of it. So smash it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.